Well, good morning, or is it good afternoon? No, it's still morning yet. Um, I want to share some good news with you this morning. The good news is that Jesus Christ is still alive. And the good news is that I'm still alive as well. And life is very, very important. And good news is very important. You know, it does say that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. I come to know Christ. I come to know him as a personal saviour. He came into my life on the 25th of March 1980 and I suffered very badly from depression, I was over drinking, I had a marriage breakdown, I was in a mess and today there are a lot of people that are in messes, they're probably in a mess with their finances, they're probably in a mess with the workplace or they're suffering from depression or oppression the whole country's in a mess but the good news is this your God Jesus Christ is not in the mess because he made you and he fearfully and wonderfully made you and he made the world he made everything in it but the thing is with man he's the trouble Mankind is the trouble, because he wants his own way. He wants to do things his way, instead of God's way. And I believe that God said, okay, carry on, do it. If you can manage to live in this world without God, that's up to you. But that's usually the why things are going wrong, because we've said no to God. We've said no, we can manage on our own. And God said, OK, carry on. But you know, as soon as you put your trust in Jesus, that's when things start to alter in your life. That's when there's a heart change, there's a change of direction, there's a change of mindset, there's a change in the way that you think. And I was just thinking today of all those sort of things that's happening in the world within the government and within the war that's going off at the moment in the ukraine within diesel as the price that it is at the moment and food the price it is at the moment and you could soon get depressed but i am not relying upon this world but i'm relying upon jesus christ the son of god the one who can help me through all difficulties, through all times of depression. For 42 years, Jesus Christ has been helping me in my life. I want to say to you today, is it that you need to come and ask him to come into your life to help you today? You see, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through him. Which way are you going? Do you know who to trust? Well, at the moment, I don't think I can trust the government and what's happening. But I can trust in Jesus. Because he is my life now. He's the one that saved me from this world. And as I invited him to come into my life, at nine o'clock in the evening, on the 25th of March, that's when my life changed. What about you? Do you need to come to the place where you can trust in Jesus? I'm going to say a prayer as I'm asking Jesus to come into my life so as you can find him to be the way, the truth and the life. The Bible tells me we've all sinned and fallen short of God's standards, so that's you, that's everybody in this world. But he offers us a way back as we come to the cross. The cross is what Jesus died on, so that you and I could have everlasting life today. 
I'll say this prayer slowly so you can pray it after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to forgive all of my sins and come into my life and take control. Fill me with the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now if you prayed that prayer and you really mean it, you need to connect yourself up to a local church. Put in your search engine churches in your area. And there's an app on your phone called YouVersion Bible App. 66 books of the Bible. You'll never be sure to read him. And you'll never exhaust the word of God. But if you put your trust in Jesus today, then connect yourself up. Ring up a minister, a pastor, a vicar. Ask them to come round and see you. Or if you know a Christian, tell them, I put my trust in Jesus today. Start the day with Christ. He will take your depression away. He will take your fears away. This world's full of fear at the moment. But Jesus Christ, there's no fear in him. Thank you for listening and may God bless you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you.